Hello people, Red7 here in the Tarkov world after a big chunk of silence things are starting to move and we see more and more pieces of that big puzzle called patch 0.12. Everyone is looking forward to be seeing the new features, to test the new weapons, to get to know the new map, to learn more about the hideout and test it, to do some character customization, complete some new missions and so on. And the devs started to release some small videos, some screenshots of what is about to come and exactly that is what I want to share with you and describe it a bit in this small news recap. So let's get to it, shall we? Let's kick off with this small screenshot I haven't shown in my last news videos because I forgot about it, it can happen. What we see here is a customized PMC, of course I am not sure if exactly this stuff will be in the game in the next patch but it looks amazing with those new pants, the new shirt, probably new gloves and the other cool stuff. I cannot wait and looking forward for something like this. This will revive the game for people who like to spend some time customizing and testing stuff on their characters. And when we think that after the release of the hideout, we will have three different characters to customize if the initial plan hasn't changed, then this is even cooler, right? The new screenshot a lot of you guys were talking about is the one with the drum Saiga. Legs beware, Clean wrote on his Twitter page. I have another screenshot for you with this drum mag. This is amazing as well. The guys do a very good job with this. But wait till you see the customizable RSS and those beautiful M4 mods. Actually, let's talk about them now because we got to talk about the hideout after that as well. This M4 is so sexy man, I like it so much that I could try to sleep with it, honestly. Those tan attachments are so well done and the weapon looks very balanced, simple and amazing. The r will be customizable as I said and I cannot wait to see what I can fit on it. I like that pistol grip a lot. Talking about weapons and attachments, we also got backlight furniture for the AK and the brand new addition, the AK-308, which uses 762 by 51 ammo and got released not too long time ago in 218. This is a new weapon in real life, it appears to be a rebrand of Kalashnikov's AK-12 with some design elements from the AK-103 according to what I read on the web, you can find the link down below. We don't know when this weapon will hit the game but I am very excited about it. It can even fit the drum mag of the Fell apparently, I predict this weapon to be in the game as a surprise from the devs judging by the development status of this gun. Here are three more screens I found on the web, the Ash 12 which will be in the game in the next patch according to the devs and another screen with a cool looking weapon, sorry for not being a weapon expert, I have no idea what modes those are or what, what weapon it is. Here are some new mods for the SKS, high tech looking stuff, again awesome job weapon designers and modelers. Now before we get to the most awaited long time announced hideout, a small animation with the bear maneuvering the stationary 50 cal. Dude, this stuff will change the game as well, man. Imagine you see a squad of three or so and you quickly sneak to the 50 cal and mow them down. Imagine the sound this thing will make. From what I can see and analyze here, you will have some penalties when you are on this gun. Less mobility and turn speed, very visible and static. It should have downsides, but it's OP as hell. Regarding the hideout, we first got to see a screenshot with it, very small and not that eye-opening but still we saw that it is very interactive and that there will be a lot of stuff to be done inside there. Let's do a small breakdown of the hideout video, straight off the bat we see that we have a drone view of it this time, check the right corner and a good overview on our stations or facilities, the bar below. It is possible that this overview will be available for the player to have better or quicker access to all the facilities but it could be something only for the developers, we will have to wait and see. 
as the video goes on, we see multiple facilities, I call them stations, where you can do things. According to a small Q&A, you will have to gather the required parts and craft them together to obtain a working station. Keep in mind that this is the first hideout iteration and a lot of things will not be available from the beginning. By this, I mean animations, visual display of weapons on racks, for example, lightning the zippo, crafting will only be waiting a waiting process or a bar or something and so on. There are a lot of modules, more than 10 or so from what we see during this video, so that means a lot of time to keep us busy. Important to mention is the fact that the hideout will not be available from the beginning. You will have to unlock it via a mission or more than one. And also very important is the fact that the hideout will bring post raid healing which means that you will have to use those three characters you have and rest the injured ones not sure how will this exactly work we will have to wait and see same also very important and worthy to keep in mind the hideout is bound to missions exploring gathering so you will have to grind a lot you won't be able to add pictures nor listen to music with this first iteration. The hideout is not raidable, so it is safe. It is situated somewhere outside the maps, according to the guys. Ammo crafting is doable, using the shooting range as well, walking inside. After a raid, there will be an option to go directly to the hideout or to the main stash. You won't be able to invite your friends into your hideout for now. It will be added in the future. It is the first version and it will be upgraded and more things will be added in time. Regarding healing, if your healing station is not finished and you won't be able to heal passively in the hideout, there will be the option to heal via the trader. You will have to pay for it though, so building your healing facility will make sense at some time, it will spare you some money. So with this being said, I think I've covered the most important things I found out there. I may have forgot something, but check the comments below. This small community of mine is always ready for autocompletes and you will find the answers here. Due to the IRL job, I couldn't do this earlier, so here it is now. Hope you guys found it useful. Share it, sub, tap that bell if you want to stay up to date with my content and all that good stuff. Also help me out boosting the Twitch channel by hopping by when you have the chance or when you see me online. And I will see you in the next video or will talk to you in the comments below. Patrons, awesome support so far. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I cannot wait for the next patch, guys. A lot of new things are about to arrive in the world of Tarkov. Let's hope it will come soon. TM. You guys take care and thank you for watching. Red7 out. Peace.